45-year-old Elizabeth Goodenow took the installment plan, getting about $33,000. But when police found out that she had purchased the lottery ticket using a stolen credit card back in 2005, they took it, taking the winnings as evidence. This is a woman who stole someone's identity and stole their their uh, debit card or their credit cards and, and their, their banking instruments, and that person then committed criminal acts with those, and in that process of buying things, bought some lottery tickets. One of those lottery tickets was a winner. Since then, the money has been locked up, unspent because of a court battle. It took two years for the decision that came down yesterday. Court of Appeals said that is under forfeiture, under criminal forfeiture, it's proceeds from a criminal act. She doesn't get it, but we get it. Now, the money goes to the police and they will spend it. Ironically, to expand their evidence room at City Hall. The list of things that we have to buy on a continual basis is costly. But police won't get the whole lot. They only get about $400,000. The good part is that it's tax-free because they're a government agency and not a person. Since they took possession of the winnings, Medford police have been getting a check. We're going to get 40% of every one of those checks till they're done being distributed, probably in 16 years. But they can't spend the money just yet. Even after years of waiting, Good now can still take her case to the high court. But police don't think she'll be as lucky today as she was when she thought that she won an easy million dollars. Travis Cook, NBC5 News.